Now, this is a really interesting question. It's a non-calculator hire question. It's right at the end of a, a hire paper that I've come across recently. If, if you did, I wanted to check it. Once I'd done my calculations, I wanted to check it. If you do put it into your calculator and click equals, it actually says as a maths error, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I think it's the fact that two to the power of 480 is such a huge number that the calculate, ca calculator can't manage it, which I find really fascinating. If I put in two to the power 250, it's, it's happy, but it's a number um, that is 10 to the power 75. But if I put in a number to 480, it errors. So I think that's what's happening with my calculator. However, let me show you how you solve this on a non-calculator paper and how it doesn't error when you're using your brain. We're going to start with this bit here. We know that any base that's the same, we have a rule for what we do with the indices. So 2, 250 multiplied by 2, 150 is the same as doing 250 add 150, which is 400, so two to the power of 400. What we've got here in the inside is two to the power 480 divided by two to the power 400, which we know is 480 subtract 400, two to the power of 80. Oh, that's not 86, that is indeed 80. So now we've reduced everything in here just to 280. So we can rewrite all of that as the square root of two to the power 80. Now, a half, sorry, square root is the same as indices to a half. So 280 all to the power of a half, which I can also write like this, which I can also write as this. And this is our answer.